The story of One Up Point Zero is, I mean, it's written by the writer uh, and psychiatrist and former health minister, uh, Nawala Saadawi. It was written in 1975, and it's about uh, a prostitute called Firdaus, originally in the original book, um, who's on death row and she's telling her story about what it means to be free in a patriarchal society. Well, it's a fierce and fiery feminist project. We have four women in the creative team and that expands into the rest of the team, although, you know, it's a mixture <laughs> later. I think it's very important in the writing and in the music that you try to hold, in this case, women on the same level um, as others without trying to other them. And in the music, I do that in, in, in my case, I'm very strong, I strongly feel about the importance of uh, working with creative artists and the personalities behind the voices and behind the musicians that end up blurring the boundaries between notation and improvisation. And, that, and in that way, I give them freedom and I try not to suffocate them. And I put them in, on the same platform and an equal platform with, with other people on stage. Let me tell you a bit about the score. Uh, we have two fantastic, mesmerizing singers, Neibar Rote, who has this, uh, originally that Arabic traditional style, but she crosses over to the jazz style as well. And we have Dima Orsho, who um, has the operatic style, but she crosses over to the Arabic and to the jazz as well. And Dima Orsho plays Fatma, who's originally for Daos, and Nai Barwote plays Sama, who's the documentary filmmaker in this opera, but who was the interviewer in the actual book. Uh, Ensemble Zar for this project will uh, be, uh, will contain six instruments, or six people behind the instruments. We have uh, the Persian Kamancha and Kechek, and we have the a Japanese show and the a Korean taigum and the cello and the accordion and the Slovenian Fuyara player who also plays recorders and duduk and so many other interesting uh, instruments that you will probably learn about on the day. So what's exciting for all of us is that you have the documentary blurring with whatever happens on stage. You have the notation and the improvisation. And obviously the so-called East meeting the so-called West. And what you'll find is that uh, the documentary will be uh, interacting musically through the rhythms and the melodies and the, and the harmonies within the musical textures and um, as a kind of stimulus for the rhythms that are happening in the opera.